Hi everybody, my name is Jeff Heffler. I'm the director of bands for Paredes Middle School. I hope you guys are doing really well today and I hope you guys are enjoying your time here starting at Paredes Middle School. We're really happy to have you and we're really thankful that you're in our class today. So today we're gonna to talk a little bit about percussion instruments. Percussion instruments are a little bit different from some of the other ones we've been talking about. They have their own family. They're not a woodwind instrument or a brass instrument. They're their own thing. Now, percussion is one of the things you'll be able to choose if you'd like to, to try out for an instrument this year. It's the only instrument that's not going to use your air. It's not a wind instrument. It's a percussion instrument. We mostly play it using our hands. Most of the time, you're going to be using a drumstick with it or a mallet or something in your hands. Now, what makes a good percussionist? Good percussionist has a couple of qualities that are going to help make you successful. Number one is discipline. Percussion takes a lot of precision. You're doing the same thing very, very precisely. And you're doing it over and over and over. And it's about building up that level of consistency. That takes a lot of discipline. Also, percussion instruments require you to stand. So you're going to have to be standing a lot even when you're in class. Now, coordination is another valuable tool. Coordination, meaning your hands and your feet and your brain and your mouth, can all work together with one another to create something. For percussion, you'll have a lot of that, especially when you start moving your hands and reading music. Cooperation as well is very important. Cooperation means that we're gonna work together. Not only are you guys gonna be a part of an ensemble, be a part of a big full band group, but also percussion tends to do their own ensembles as well. So you'll be performing a lot with other percussionists. Now, what instruments do we play? It's not just percussion. Percussion is a category and we have a lot of different ones. When you are in your sixth grade year, your beginning band year, you're going to focus on two instruments. One is going to be the practice pad and one is going to be a keyboard. Now we don't mean keyboard like a piano. We mean like a percussion instrument keyboard and we'll cover that in a little bit. By the time you finish up middle school, most of our students play somewhere around 20 to 25 different unique instruments. And we'll show you how to hold all of them. We'll show how you We'll show you how to perform on all of them. We'll make sure to get you that information. When you're in high school, you continue learning new instruments and you continue performing a lot of those things. But in high school, you also add in the drum line and the front ensemble. Those are a part of a marching band. A drum line are the drums that march. Snare drum, tenor drums, and bass drum. And the front ensemble is also called the pit. The front ensemble is largely the mallet percussion instruments, the keyboard instruments. We'll talk about those here in just a little bit. Now, most of you guys are very fortunate to be going to Aikens High School, and we work a lot with Aikens High School. Their drumline instructor is a man named Mr. Sharp, and if you choose percussion, you will definitely be doing some time working with Mr. Sharp. Now, your practice pad, that's the first thing we're going to look at. It's just like a snare drum. It feels just like a snare drum, but it's a lot quieter. So you're able to practice and get the same information you'd get, but you're not gonna make nearly as much noise. We're gonna take just a second and watch a quick clip of some students performing on a practice pad. All right, so you can see they're all moving together. You can see there's already a lot of discipline and a lot of precision in that. Next, we're going to look at our keyboard instruments. So our keyboard instruments, the notes are set up the same way that a piano would be with the two rows. But instead of using your hands, you're going to play on mallets. When you start, you'll start with two mallets. But eventually, and probably by the end of middle school, we'll teach you guys how to play what's called four mallet grip. That means you're going to hold two in each hand and use four as a total. We'll take a quick look. This is not where you're going to be in sixth grade, but this is a look at a professional marimba player. So you can see he's moving his hands. He's got two mounts in each hand and he's moving them nice and quickly, nice and efficiently. We don't expect you to be there by middle school, but that's the sort of technique that we get into. Now, keyboards have 
five different types of main instruments that we call keyboard instruments. They are the bell kit, the chimes, the vibraphone, the xylophone, and the marimba. The marimba and the xylophone are usually made out of wood bars, whereas the bell kit, chimes, and the vibraphone, they're made out of metal bars. Now, and when you start, you will start off on a little bell kit. That's how we start learning our initial first few notes. So we'll start with one of these little bell kits. But in middle school, you'll be performing at some point on all five of these things. They're all set up the same. So if you can read one, you can read all of them. Now, when we play, I've shown you a couple of times, we have sticks, we have mallets, we also have brushes, we have dreadlocks, we have hammers, we have all sorts of different tools that we use to play on our percussion instruments. And so if you look here, you'll see a couple of those different things. When you start off, you'll start off with drumsticks. And then a little bit later in your sixth grade year, we'll add mallets to that. So we have two instruments we start with. We'll have two tools that we'll use to play them with. Now, how many percussion instruments are there? There are hundreds of different percussion instruments. If you can hit it and it makes a sound, it's a percussion instrument. However, we listed some of the most common ones that you'll see. Some of them are common to music you've heard before. Some of them may be a little unfamiliar, but take a look here at this list, see how many you recognize, see if you can match a picture to the names that we've listed here. Next, we've got just a few videos of some master performers here that are coming up. So our first one is a drum set player named Eric Moore. Next one is a marimba player. Her name is Dame Evelyn Glenny. She is actually deaf, so she cannot hear. Now you can see on that, she's moving very quickly. She, just like the other video we watched, she's playing with four mallets. And our last one, Pedrito Martinez, He's going to play the congas and he's going to play the bongos. So unlike the ones that we've seen before, he's actually using his hands for these. So he's not using a stick or a mallet. He's just going straight with his hand. So quick review. We do not use air. We stand when we perform, we use sticks and mallets. You will learn two instruments, the practice pad and the keyboard, and we use a lot of coordination between our hands. If you have any questions, please go ahead and reach out. My name again, I'm Jeff Heffler. Please go ahead and reach out to me, emails the best way. Mr. Daniel Sharp will be taking part in some of the Paredes percussion classes, and he'll also be running the Aikens High School drumline, Aikens High School percussion program. So please reach out to us if you have any questions. And thank you guys very much for watching. We appreciate your time.